HCAM programming is supported by our viewers. Thank you. And by Golden Pond Assisted Living, honoring resident choice, dignity, and independence. Our health and wellness focus keeps residents active. Golden Pond, state-of-the-art senior housing and health care services. And by WPC Pest Control, a family-owned business for over 35 years. Owners Jim and Rebecca Mazzucchelli provide honesty, respect, and integrity, performing safe and effective pest control services. They service your home like it's their home. And welcome to a special edition of HCAM News. Tom Nappy at the anchor desk to keep you up to date with what's happening in Hopkinton. On this edition of HCAM News, we have coverage from Shrewsbury High School, where the Hopkinton Hillers girls volleyball team attempted to win their second state championship in the past three seasons. And Courtney will get you up to date with the upcoming programming on the HCAM channels with our HCAM insider. But first, here are some happenings in Hopkinton you should know about. The Hopkinton Relay for Life is attempting to raise $37,000 in 37,000 seconds on Giving Tuesday, which is the Tuesday after Thanksgiving. So I'm here to talk about the um, $37,000 in 37,000 seconds challenge that the Relay for Life of Hopkinton is taking on this year. So Relay for Life, uh, it's been going on in Hopkinton for a long time, and it's basically a lot of people uh, sign up and we raise money and then at on a Friday night in May we walk for 12 hours around the track and we walk from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. and it's kind of symbolic of a cancer patient struggle and uh, the money that we raise goes to American Cancer Society. So the challenge is something new that we're doing this year on Giving Tuesday which is the first Tuesday after Thanksgiving and it's supposed to be um, a day where you give to charities. and. The challenge is basically in 37,000 seconds, which is roughly like eight hours, we are um, doing like a telethon and we are basically just encouraging people to go on during that time frame and donate how much ever money they want to. And we're trying to reach $37,000 in the 37,000 seconds. Um, so basically the 37,000 came from the number of cancer patients that will be diagnosed in 2017 in Massachusetts. It's an estimate, but that's what they're projecting. And it just came about with us thinking um, you know, people have, like we encourage people to donate all the time, but if we kind of give them this time frame and we give them this idea and we have a goal that's very specific, we think it'll really encourage people to get on and donate right there and then rather than putting it off. So the telethon will basically be reaching out to uh, phone numbers from the phone book all across Hopkinton, but the people that are already involved, we're encouraging them to go on and donate the way they normally would, which is through the Relay for Life website and you can donate to either a specific participant, which is what a lot of family members do, or you can donate to the event in general, which is what people who just want to donate to the cause do. And we're encouraging them to just go online. They put in credit card information and they basically donate to our event. Okay, and uh, how did you get involved with the uh, Relay for Life? So I've been doing Relay for Life for about six years now. I started in uh, seventh grade and I got involved through my sister who was actually in the same position as me. She was a uh, ELT lead on the committee and um, I just, I started attending the Relay for Life on her team. We do it in memory of my mom who passed away nine years ago. And then when she graduated, there was an opening for the ELT and I had been part of it and I had kind of attended meetings with her. So they reached out to me and I, I was like happy to do it. I'm really committed to this cause, so. Unibank celebrated their one year anniversary and to celebrate that anniversary, they donated to many local Hopkinton organizations. So in celebration of our one year anniversary at Unibank and Hopkinton, um, our way of giving back to the community, we chose seven nonprofit organizations. Um, and our kickoff uh, for our giving program, we asked members of the community to do their part by coming into our branch to vote uh, for their favorite nonprofit organization. And there were seven uh, nonprofits. There were levels. Uh, the first prize winner was five thousand dollars. Second prize would be twenty five hundred dollar contribution, and third prize was a thousand. And the other organizations would get five hundred dollars. So everybody was a winner. So we did our wrap up um, after two months of voting uh, on November fifteenth. Uh, marked our final date to vote, 
and we had a celebration in our branch on Wednesday evening to announce the winners. And the grand prize winner was Project Just Because. Our second prize winner was the Hopkins and Public Library. Third prize was Serenity House. Um, Michael Carter Lisno Respite Center got $500, as well as the Hopkins and Education Foundation and the Hopkinton Center for the Arts and the Hopkinton Senior Center. So everyone was a winner in this uh, voting contest. It was wonderful to be part of this. Uh, Unibank had us here for their grand opening and it's been supportive since they walked into this town. And to have them be able to have our um, supportive people come in here and vote was just an opportunity we were just really excited about. And I understand uh, Unibank has some uh, programs that help uh, Project Just Because. Can you talk about some of those? Well, right here, we're standing in front of a tree, and this is our giving tree. Um, this time of year, we have a holiday program, and we do um, approximately 15,000 children. So they support us by having this tree so that people can take hearts and fulfill the wishes of the children. Coming up next on HCAM News, we have highlights and coverage from Shrewsbury High School where the Hillers girls volleyball team attempted to win their second Division II state championship in the past three seasons. And Courtney will let you know what to expect on the HCAM channels with our HCAM Insider. A lot more ahead on HCAM News. Don't go anywhere. HCAM News is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, Located in this historic New England town since 1954, they are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of health care options. And by Webster First Federal Credit Union, providing financial products with attentive customer service to the local families and businesses of Hopkinton. Visit us at WebsterFirst.com. Hi, my name is Margie Wigan, and I want to invite you to join me for my new show, Character Matters, on HCAM. We're going to talk about why do people choose the behavior that they choose? Why do they choose to be good? We're going to hear from people in history. We're going to hear from local heroes who make great choices. And we're going to hear from some puppets who talk about things they've seen. And they're going to say, what? Did you see that? Yes, I did. Please join us. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get in a $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. Welcome back to HCAM News. For the second time in three seasons, the Hopkinton Hillers volleyball team advanced to the state finals. The Hillers took down Medway, last year's central sectional winner, Westboro, and swept Canton to capture the central sectional championship. The next step was a trip to Holyoke Community College to face the undefeated western sectional champion, Amherst, in the state semifinals. After a tough battle, the Hillers took down Amherst three sets to one and advanced to Shrewsbury High School to take on the team that won the Division II state championship in 2013 and 2015, Notre Dame Academy. The Division II state championship between Notre Dame Academy of Hingham and the Hopkinton Hillers. This should be a fun afternoon of high school volleyball. Both these teams have just dominated Division II over the last few seasons. And one of these teams today is going to take home the state championship. 20 to 13 Hillers in set number one. In the back by Howley, the setup. Get over, good dig there by Gilbert. And the oh, hit over oh. for the Hillers point by Gogolin. Of course, you have the uh, JV team that went undefeated as Miller serves that one up, and that's a Hiller's point. Go by Coulter. In the back. Oh, great dig. Go by Gilbert. There it is. Hillers will take it. 
25 to 17. They take set number one. And they dethrone last year's champion, Notre Dame Academy Cougars. Bump by Miller, Gilbert. Oh, nice tap. Set up in front, good blocks. Once again, it is Ivy Goglin. Goglin has shut Dwyer down this whole set. 24-18, Hillers. Kelsey Dwyer on the serve into the net. Hillers takes set number two. 25 to 18, one set away from a state championship. Will the Hillers take home the state championship for the second time in three seasons? Yes, they will! Hopkinton wins as Peyton Weber gets the winning point on the serve. 25 to 23 in set number three. And your Hopkinton Hillers are the Division II state champions. Unbelievable. What an ending. What a way to finish that off. Congratulations to the Hopkinton Hillers. They have claimed their second state championship in the past three seasons and have dethroned the 2015 state champion, Notre Dame Academy Cougars. How you doing? I'm good. You won the state championship, how does it feel? It feels amazing, it was so much fun to play in this whole tournament, so it's awesome, it feels so great. Could you talk about the team this year and just this incredible run, what was it like playing with uh, your teammates? Oh my, I love my teammates, we had such a good season, we had so much fun together, and I think like the chemistry we had on and off the court just made it such a great team, and we had so much fun, it was awesome. Well, uh, can you talk about your performance today? You, you played against a team that also won a couple state championships yes. in the past uh, four seasons. There it is. <laughs> hold that up. Hold that up. State champions right here. How are you feeling right now? I'm really excited right now. A lot of, a lot of emotions. <laughs> well, you played against a, a great Notre Dame Academy team out there. Uh, what did you expect coming into this matchup? Did you think that you were going to get the sweep? Did you think it was going to go five sets? What were your thoughts coming into this tonight? We expected that it would be a really good game, and we hoped that it would be three a sweep, but we didn't. We weren't. For, we didn't know for sure, and we definitely. We were so excited. We played them two years ago and won, so we just really wanted to win again. So it was awesome. Yeah. All right. What comes next? Celebration time. Yes, lots of celebration. Yep. All right. Well, you certainly deserve it. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. How you doing? Um. Really good right now, I'm so excited. What was it like playing with this team all season in this run? What's it been like for you? Incredible, I'm so proud of these girls. We work so hard every day and I'm so proud of the way, how far we came. How much prep work went into preparing for this great uh, Notre Dame Academy team? Oh, so much effort, so many hours in the gym, Saturday practices, just working so hard. Were you nervous at all coming into uh, this afternoon, or did you have uh, confidence that your team was going to go out there and uh, bring home another title? I was so confident, and I was so confident in this team. We were just so awesome. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, what, what comes next? Celebration time? Oh yeah, definitely. Big bus ride home. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be a fun bus ride. Oh yeah, lots of screaming. <laughs> well, you certainly earned it. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> Stay champs. <laughs> Woo! Stay champs. Absolutely. Stay champs. What's it like to be able to say that you're state champions? Has it really hit you yet? No, it hasn't. It, it, like, we couldn't believe that we actually made it this far, and now I can't believe that we actually won, so we're psyched right now. What's it been like playing with this group all season long? Oh, it's been amazing. Yeah, it's, it's been, been such so a special group. Yeah, we're all such good friends, and we love playing together, so, yeah. Any uh, big plans for the celebration? Hoping for a police <laughs> escort on the yeah. way home, and then we'll probably, um, probably hang out, get some food. <laughs> I think there's <laughs> absolutely. Well, you certainly deserve it. You must be uh, hungry after uh, playing so hard out there today. Yes, yes definitely. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, go enjoy with your teammates and congratulations, your state champions. Thank, Thank you. you. How does it feel to be able to say you're a state champion? It feels great. I mean, we've worked so hard for this. We, I don't think we could be any happier right now. We are so excited. <laughs> uh, you had a tremendous game out there, as did a few of your other teammates as well. Uh, what was it like uh, coming into this against this uh, Notre Dame Academy team that's won two state titles recently? Were you nervous at all, or did you feel like your team was ready to go? I think 
think we were pretty excited. I know we've been doing well the past couple years, and so have they. I heard they've been in the state finals for the past three years. So coming in, we knew it was going to be a good game where we could really have a nice matchup. So we were all really excited. What's it been like playing with this group all season long? It's the best group of girls. I love everyone on the team. There's no drama, no nothing. We're just all like one big family, so it's been awesome. Well, I think it's going to be a good bus ride home for Definitely. you, to say the least. Very excited for the bus ride. <laughs> You're a state champion. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> How does it feel to be a state champion? It feels great. I'm so excited. What was it like playing with this group all season? It was awesome. All I have to do is just get to the center and they do the rest, so... <laughs> Now, you played a team today that also uh, recently won a couple state championships. Were you nervous at all going into this matchup, or did you feel like your team was ready? I think we were prepared. Um, we've been preparing all season, and this is just another game, I feel. like. What comes now? Celebration time? Oh, yeah. We get the police escort. <laughs> well, congratulations. You certainly earned it. You're a state champion. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, second state championship in three seasons. How does it feel? Who would have thought it, right? Uh, it feels great. The, um, the girls came into the season with a preseason goal of being state champs. I mean, none of these girls were on that, that team. Four of them were pulled up during that team, but none of them were players on that team during the season. Um, but they had the goal. It's a winning tradition in Hopkinton, and, and they had the talent. Um, it was just such a small, it's a small, close-knit group. So, What's this group been like to coach? Such a joy. Such a joy. I mean... This is a smaller roster than I've carried in probably ever. And they were just so close-knit, tight, um, that it, it just translated well onto the court. Um, they helped each other out, picked each other up, always kept positive. And it was a pleasure going to practice every single day and showing up for games. And, and I don't know what I'm going to do. Actually, tomorrow's banquet. I don't know what I'll do on Monday. What were the uh, practices like uh, coming into this matchup, getting ready for this Notre Dame Academy team that has also won a couple uh, state championships recently? Um, so we really played it one game at a time. So we were getting ready for Amherst and th through Wednesday. So we knew we had two days to get ready for NDA. Thank you. And basically, we believed in ourselves. And we know that we're a very well-balanced team. And if we played our game, We've got offensive weapons all over the court. We've got defensive like, just weapons back there picking it up all the hits. Um, and they're a very strong team. We knew that coming in, but we, I think to be the best, you got to beat the best, and we were hoping to be able to see them um, at some point during the season. So it worked out the way they were hoping, actually. So. I know. How are you feeling right now? Are you just full of joy or what? You, you seem like you're about to explode with joy. I'm so proud. I am so proud. Like, I just – I. Every girl on this team, I'm so happy for the seniors. Like, uh, I'm happy for their accomplishments. I'm happy they were able to reach their goals and to dig deep and, you know, accomplish what they set out to at the beginning of the season. And and they're just creating their own legacy. I'm proud. I'm so happy for them. Well, Coach, another uh, great uh, performance by your team and another great coaching performance by you. Unbelievable job. Congratulations. Can I give a shout out? Absolutely. I think a big big part of why we were so successful in the postseason was the fan support like we had people in the stands that were just cheering and and it definitely the girls were playing harder they were you know they they wanted to do it for each other for the coaches for the school and for their friends so that was a big part of it and the same like the sub varsity coaches and my assistant mary bransfield like it, we wouldn't be where we are without the support that we have and there's so much um, talent in, in Hopkinton and it's just being modeled by these sub varsity coaches so it's easy for me when they come in and they're you know from day one ready to go and saying we want to win a state championship you know that that's the confidence and stuff comes from what they're getting at the sub the lower levels and the administration too we got every you know everything we needed to make this a successful season we were just supported a hundred percent so you know it's 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 nice, but there's a lot of people that, you know, take a part and, and own How this How about the television coverage that you get? Is it wonderful? Actually, I was going to say, <laughs> you guys are great. And I had so many people telling me that, you know, if they couldn't make a game that or a match, that they were watching it on TV. And um, it wasn't just the opposing coaches <laughs> that was telling me that. It was, you know, a lot of fans, if they can't get out, they're able to watch it on TV, and that's important. And, and thank you so much.
We're looking for it. Well, we enjoy uh, covering the team a lot, and it makes it all the uh, bit sweeter when there's a state championship uh, that you're taking home as well. It makes it even more fun to cover. Whew. It, you know what? It'll be a fun, loud bus ride, that's for sure. So, thank you. Well, hopefully uh, there'll be many more state titles and many more fun, loud bus rides. But for now, enjoy this one. You certainly earned it. Congratulations. Enjoy right now. That's what we're going to do. So, and just reflect upon this amazing season. So, thank you. There is. Yeah! A whole lot of great programming is coming up on the HCAM channel. Standing by to tell you all about it is Courtney Taylor with our HCAM Insider. Hello everyone and welcome to the latest edition of the HCAM Insider. On Saturday, November 26th at 1.30 p.m., the Volleyball Division II State Semifinal versus Amherst will air. And at 3.30 p.m., the Volleyball Division II State Final versus Notre Dame Academy will air. On Monday, November 28th at 7 p.m., Wake Up and Smell the Poetry audience members take the stage to share their original poetry, stories, and songs. No matter how many times I think of what I should have done or said, you still go. No more shaking, no more sharing inside jokes, holding hands, dancing to Quincy Jones, the dude, sipping wine in the moonlight, no more you. On Thursday, December 1st at 7 p.m., the school committee meeting will air live on HCAM TV. And on HCAM Ed, the Hopkinton High School junior girls take on the seniors in powder puff football, and a prince goes to war to prove his loyalty to his father, but ends up seizing the throne in Pippin. If you want to know when any of our HCAM programs will air on our channels, head on over to hcam.tv connect, where you can sign up for our HCAM Insider Newsletter. Or if you want to know about the latest Hopkinton happenings, you can sign up for our daily news updates. As always, thanks for watching HCAM. Now back to you, Tom. Thank you, Courtney. That will just about do it for this edition of HCAM News. Don't forget to stay up to date with everything Hopkinton by checking out our website, hcam.tv, as well as our Twitter and Facebook page. Right now on our website, you can view much more from the Hopkinton Hillers Girls Volleyball State Championship run and also pictures from the Hopkinton High School Top of the Hill ceremony. If there is a photo, video, or story idea you would like to share with us, feel free to email me at news at hcam.tv. With your help, we'll cover even more of our community. For everyone here at HCAM, I'm Tom Nappy. We leave you now with the current community listings and upcoming government meetings. Take care, and as always, thanks for watching HCAM. HCAM is supported by our viewers and by Blackstone Valley Wealth Management, providing highly personalized financial planning, wealth management, and customized solutions through transparent, unbiased advice. 
Visit us at BlackstoneValleyWealth.com. Smile.